In today's video, we are going to be going over the top six stocks to buy in 2021. These are some of my favorite stocks overall, like between the ones I know of, which I know a lot. So make sure you stay to see my full analysis, like why I expect them to grow, like more key numbers and yeah. So the first one is going to be Enphase. Enphase is an energy technology company that is headquartered in Vermont, California. They create software driven home energy solutions that span solar generation, home energy storage, and sustainable web based monitoring and control. And I expect them to grow because um, they are a solar company, like I said, and long term, the world is going to be solar. I feel like, like just like Tesla, they're trying to make solar cars solar they do solar already they they already do that but that's what Enphase is trying to do they're trying to make houses run off solar so it's sustainable energy that's healthy for the environment and yeah so they're currently trading at 188 dollars and 81 cents with a 52 week low of about 49 dollars and a 52 week high of about 229 dollars their five-year return is nine thousand six hundred sixty six dollars or nine thousand six hundred sixty six percent which is insane so that means year over year they have a return of about one thousand three hundred thirty three year over year one year ago they're trading at fifty two dollars and thirty two cents and like i said now they're trading at one hundred eighty eight dollars and eighty one cents in the past one year they've had a 279 ish percent increase they have a market cap of $25.621 billion, a P.E. ratio of 280.55, an EPS of 0.67%, and a buy rating of 2.2, which that's uh, like two over, because for strong buy and buy, it's one to two, so it's like 2.2, so it's between a buy and hold, but closer to a buy. And in my opinion, this is a long-term hold. This is like a recovery stock, in my opinion, because the market was down for a while. And this one dropped significantly too. So it's still on sale. Enphase has an average analyst price target of $194.05 and is about 3.5% more of the stock's current price, which is $188.81. Enphase's March 2021 Q1 earnings were one. $1.75 million in revenue, beating revenue expectations by 3.19%, which was expected to be about $292.5 million. They had a net income of $31.7 million, an operating income of $64.49 million, and $1.49 billion of cash on hand. The second high growth stock is going to be SQ which is the ticker symbol and it's known as Square Inc. So if you don't know what Square Inc is, it's an e-commerce system. Some things they do is allow sellers to start and run and grow their business. It combines software with hardware to enable sellers to turn mobile devices into payments and point of sale solutions. And why I expect this company to grow is because I feel like long-term we're gonna have a lot more people who are starting a business and Square Inc. is, like I said, helping people start a business, and that's my reason I think they're going to succeed long-term, because they're helping benefit people who want to start their own business. So SQ is currently trading at $246.70, with a 52-week low of $111.14, and a 52-week high of $283. In the past five years, they have a 2,603% return, and when you average that out, that comes to about a 520-ish percent year over year. One year ago, they were trading at $118.65. And today, they are trading at $246.70. So that means in the past year, they've had a 180-ish percent return. So that doesn't make sense when you go back up to the one or the five year when I averaged it because some years are different. I just averaged it out, I divided it by five. SQ has a market cap of about $112.3 billion, a PE ratio of 345.03, an earnings per share of 0 0.71, and a buy rating of 2.3, which is between a buy and a hold. 
but it's still closer to a buy. And I don't understand some of these ratings right now because pretty much all these stocks are on sale because, because in the past like six months they've been down. And now we're starting to go back up. Well, we're trending up at least. SQ has an average analyst priced target of $277.65, and it's about 11% more of the stock's current price, which is $246.70, which that's one thing I don't understand why it's closer or between a buy and a hold, but it's still lower than the average price. Square's March 2021 Q1 earnings were $5.06 billion in revenue and beat revenue expectations by 51.3%, which was expected to be $3.34 billion. They had a net income of about $39 million and operating income of $87.6 million and just over $3 billion of cash on hand. And that's another reason I expect them to grow. If the company is growing like its revenue and all that stuff, that means the stock is going to be exceeding too. The third stock for 2021 is going to be DQ. DQ is another energy company and that's why I believe in them long term. So Dowco New Energy is a Chinese company engaged in the manufacture of silicon and polysilicon primarily for use in solar photovoltaic systems. So another thing is DQ is currently like very cheap right now. So it's currently trading at $66.83. And that's why I say it's so cheap. It was like double that price seven months ago. And you're thinking, well, it's never gonna go back up again. I believe in it long-term because like I said, stocks were down and it just was hit very hard. As a 52-week low of $17.14, and a 52-week high of $130.33. And that's another thing. It shows right there. It did like a huge increase. It went from about $17 to about $130 in one year. In the past five years, it has 1,371-ish percent return. So when you divide that by five, which is because it's five years, it comes out to about 274-ish percent year over year. One year ago, like I said, it's trading at $17.53 and like I said now it's trading at $66.83 so like I said when I look at the one year charts it comes out to about 273 ish percent return the market cap is 4.913 billion dollars the PE ratio of 28.27 and has an EPS of 2.36 and has a buy rating of 2 so it's right on a buy so dq has an average analyst price of 98 dollars 98 cents and is at about 33 percent higher than its current price of 66 dollars 83 cents so dq's earnings of march 2021 which was q1 were just over 256 million dollars in revenue and missed revenue by 14%, which was expected to be around $297 million. They had a net income of $83.2 million, an operating income of $109.2 million, and just over $167 million of cash on hand. And you can see that they missed their earnings, which, I mean, they can't be perfect, and that was a big miss. But that's another reason I think it's a great buy right now because it's so cheap and long term. I think it's going to succeed. The third, the fourth stock of 2021 is going to be Etsy. Ticker symbol ETSY. Etsy is an American e-commerce company focused on handmade or vintage items and craft supplies. There's a side range of items and a few are clothing, jewelry, bags and toys and all vintage items must be 20 years old or more that's another reason i believe in this company they're doing something that i think is interesting and i own this too another thing is i'm gonna be revealing my portfolio in like two weeks from now so yeah right at two weeks so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can see that um you're probably thinking it's probably not that much invested i have a lot more than you think so yeah, just subscribe.
Etsy is currently trading at $197.81 with a 52-week low of $97.50 and a 52-week high of $251.86. The five-year return is about 1,975-ish percent, which comes out to about 395-ish percent year over year. Today, like I said, it's trading at $197.81 and in the past year, it's done a 75-ish percent increase. Etsy has a market cap of 25.14-ish million dollars. It might be a billion, I can't remember off my head. It has a PE ratio of 56.18. It has an earnings per share of 3.52 and a buy rating of 1.8. So that's between a buy and a strong buy, which is good. So Etsy has an average analyst price target of $224 which is about 12% higher than Etsy's current price of $197.81. Etsy's March 2021 Q1 earnings were about $551 million in revenue, beating revenue expectations by 3.82%. They had a net income of around $144 million, an operating income of just over $50 million, $150 million, sorry, and... The amount of cash on hand is about $1.2 billion. The fifth high growth stock is going to be Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. I think we all know what Apple is, but if you don't, Apple is a tech company. They make laptops, iPhones, iPads, tablets, computers, and also computer software. Apple was the first personal computer company and the popularizer of graphical user interface. And why I think they're going to succeed personally is because um, they're, in our, they're, they're in our everyday life. You see them everywhere. Like, like I said, laptops, I have one right here. Um, iPhone, I have one. And pretty much anyone has an iPhone or an Apple product. So that's why I think they're going to succeed long term. And that's why I own it because they're a high growth company. Apple is currently trading at $142.02 with a 52-week low of $89.14 and a 52-week high of $145.09. They have a five-year return of about 495 and that comes out to like 99-ish percent increase year over year. They have a market cap of $2.37 trillion and a P.E. ratio of 31.92. And in the past year, they have a 54-ish percent increase. They have an EPS of 4.45, which is earnings per share, and a buy rating of 2, so it's right on a buy. So Apple has an average analyst price target of $159.59, which is about 13% more than its current price of $142.02. Another thing is, I would think it would be a strong buy right now, in my opinion, because Apple hasn't done much at all for about 10 months since i bought into it i'm up like six percent and it's performed pretty much flat so i'd say it's a strong buy if i was predicting or saying what i think it is right now apple's march 2021 q2 earnings were just over 89.5 billion dollars in revenue which beat its revenue expectations by almost 16 percent which was originally expected to be $77.3 billion. They had a net income of around $26.3 billion, an operating income of $27.5 billion, and about $38.5 billion of cash on hand. The final high growth stock is going to be Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. If you don't know what Tesla is, they're trying to do stuff with this sustainable energy that's pretty much their goal and was founded in 2003 when i say sustainable energy i mean things that are healthy for the environment like solar and electric vehicles rather than gasoline vehicles that pollute the air which long term i believe that they will be around a lot more like the teslas too they do lots of stuff but i'm heavy in these solar companies because i believe in it long term Tesla trades at $659.58, which is 
with a 52 week low of $262.27 and a 52 week high of $900.40. Their five year return is 1465% which when you divide that by five it comes out an average of 293% increase year over year. One year ago they were trading at $299.41 and in the past year, they have a 157-ish percent increase, which is great. They have a market cap of $635.393 billion, a P-E ratio of 660.60, an EPS of 1, and a buy rating of 2.8. And this is a buy rating that I don't understand at all, because about six or seven months ago, Tesla was trading at like $900, like $881 at its peak, and now it's trading significantly lower. So I don't know why it's closer to a hold. I, I'd say it should be closer to a buy and a strong buy right now because it's cheap. Tesla has an analyst target of $655.12, which is only around $4 less of its current price. Tesla's March 2021 Q1 earnings were just under $10.4 billion in revenue, beating their prediction by 1.09%, which was expected to be $10.28 billion. They had a net income of $438 million, an operating income of $493 million, and $8.17 billion of cash on hand. So if you got this from the video, I appreciate it. It means a lot. I put a lot of time into these videos to help you guys out. Literally every single one of these stocks I say in every single video are ones I love. I don't always own all of them because I don't always have the money for all of them. But I do have most of these stocks that I own. Just wait. Okay. Sorry, my mother needed me. Um, so thanks for watching the video. Um, I hope you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see that video of me revealing my portfolio in two weeks from the day of me posting this video. And also go in the link below. You deserve it. Open a Robinhood link. You got to be over the age of 18. You can get two free stocks instead of one. One from me for using the link and one from Robinhood. Also, my Instagram's down in the link below. So, thanks for watching. Like I said, it means a lot. And I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below any video ideas. Peace.